It is not uncommon to find a broken haptic while inserting the IOL into the eye. This video will depict a very simple trick that helps you consistently have an optimal end result that is the entire IOL being inserted into the eye without any broken haptics. Let's look at what happens in this following video. The surgeon is about to insert the IOL and seems to be successfully doing so but at the end of IOL insertion towards the end of it the surgeon actually notices that the trailing haptic is stuck between the plunger and the surrounding cartridge. The surgeon now with the help of a plain forceps gradually pulls the plunger out of the eye and as you can see there, there is the stuck unbroken haptic which now the surgeon holds and gradually pulls out from the stuck cartridge. Clearly there's a shallowing of the anterior chamber, the surgeon injects viscoelastic and in this particular case with the help of the visco cannula itself injects the IOL successfully. What if there were a maneuver that each of us could consistently do which allows us to safely deliver the IOL into the capsular bag each and every time? Let's look at the following video. The capsular bag is insufflated with disco at the end of the surgery. And now the loading of the IOL. The scope is moved away from the patient's eye to facilitate clear visualization. And this is the butterfly cartridge which is held in the non-dominant hand while the surgeon insufflates the nozzle and the cartridge with viscoelastic. With extreme care without damaging the optic, the surgeon carefully picks up the IOL and places it in the cartridge. The edges of the optic are first nudged into their place. Having achieved that, the surgeon ensures that the leading haptic is fine and then lifts up the trailing haptic and places it carefully within the body of the optic before closing the cartridge. Having done that, now the surgeon increases the magnification and visualizes very carefully to ensure that no part of the IOL is stuck within the cartridge. Having done that, the cartridge is now introduced into the injector, snapped into its position. Now this is important, when the surgeon injects the IOL anteriorly towards the tip under the microscope, the surgeon intermittently withdraws the plunger and visualizes at this time to ensure that no part of the haptic is actually jammed between the plunger and the cartridge. And this actually always works in preventing the haptic from being stuck. And finally, the insertion of the IOL. And as you can see, the IOL is injected with significant ease. And it is absolutely complete. The folded haptic now opens out. And at the end of the surgery, you have a well-centered IOL in the capsular bag.